Welcome to another talking video and in today's episode I want us to look at how to fall asleep fast. I think that is what the title says. Now a disclaimer before we start, I am not a sleep therapist in any manner. I am not a doctor, I am not a sleep therapist, whatever those are. I am just a simple photographer but then I found hacks that help me sleep in under three minutes. Uh, some time back, I used to go to bed tired and what, and uh, my mind would be filled with thoughts and I would be there turning and tossing. I would take like an hour in bed before falling asleep. But then after I knew these hacks, then these days I fall asleep in a record time of less than three minutes. I know because I know. So today I want to share with you tips on how to fall asleep fast. I know they're not in any way connected to photography, but even as a photographer and filmmaker, when you get home tired, you want to fall asleep very fast so that you are fresh for your next day. Point number one, make your room dark. If you're sleeping in the dark room, then you're most likely to fall asleep very fast. But if, on the contrary, you're in a room that is full of light, then your mind will keep on staying awake and you'll find it very difficult falling asleep. Point number two is to keep your room cool. If you go to bed and your room is warm, too warm or too hot, then it will be difficult to fall asleep. But if you're in a room with a cooler temperature, then when you get into your beddings and snuggle yourself in there, you start feeling warm, your body relaxes, and you can fall asleep very fast. So if you've been sleeping in a room next to the kitchen, you need to move or get a fan and make that room cooler. You'll fall asleep faster. Remove distractions from your room. Things like television sets that emit the blue light, Things like gadgets, television sets, uh, devices like mobile phones and radio systems. Remove them because your bedroom is a place of rest, not a place of entertainment. Of course, you know, other forms of entertainment, but not the digital kind of loud music and movies in the bedroom. Point number four. And this is where I used to suffer most. But before I tell you about point number four, if you have not yet subscribed, because Point number four is a very interesting point. You want to listen to it. But before you go there, hit the subscribe button and also put the like so that uh, YouTube knows that this video is interesting. We are actually having fun so that it can show it to more people. So point number four is relax your muscles. Once you get in between your sheets, relax your muscles. What used to happen to me is I would go to bed and then I would clench my teeth. You can even see the muscles on the side, the lips. Even my forehead is frowning. I'm not joking about it. That's what I used to do then. Your teeth are clenched. Your fist is clenched. Your gut is sucked in. Okay, maybe you're used to doing it because you have a big tummy during the day when you're walking and you don't want people to notice, so you suck in your gut. You even forget when you're in bed, your gut is still sucked in. You're tense. Your, your whole body is tense. You and it hard falling asleep. What you're supposed to do when you're in bed, relax your muscles. Let your jaws relax. Let your face relax. Let your eyes relax. Let your fists, your fingers, your toes, let your gut free. Let your stomach flow freely so that your whole body is in a relaxed mood. Your muscles are in your relaxed mood. Your nervous system is not feeling nervous anymore. You're relaxed. That way, in under one minute, you'll fall asleep. And as you relax, let me just connect it to the next point. Concentrate, listen to and concentrate on your breathing. Shift your mind from your daily thoughts. You know, your mind can be rushing across. You're thinking about books. You're thinking about where your next meal will come from. You're thinking about the business deal you're supposed to make tomorrow. Forget about all this. Listen to and concentrate on your breathing. As you breathe in, as you breathe out, listen to that. Go with the rhythm. It will help your brain relax. It will help your mind come back home and relax. And in under one minute, in under one minute, you will be gone. You'll be asleep. I mean, you'll be asleep, not gone. Take a warm bath. Get home from your daily activities. Some of us go to bed with all the dust and all the sweat and all the whatever is on your body. You go to bed with it. You don't even change from your work clothes to your pajamas. 
I mean, how are you treating your body? What do you expect from your body and your mind? You expect them to sleep with all that luggage? Hell no. You're not going to sleep. You're going to toss tan. And the cock, the cockerel, will wake you up at 4 a.m. without you knowing. So it's 4 a.m. You've not slept or you just started sleeping. Your alarm is on. And the cock is growing. You need to get up and because you didn't relax your body. So when you get home, take a warm bath, let your skin and your body relax, and then you can go to bed. Avoiding blue light. This one is connected to, you know, taking all gadgets out of your room. The blue light that is emitted from our gadgets, our phones, our wristwatches, and our computer TV screens, although these days you have the option to turn them to, you know, a more reddish light that encourages sleep if you have to work for a long time then make sure your screen is warm so that the blue light you can avoid the blue light but if you can avoid any gadgets after 7 p.m then it's better to do so because the blue light deceives the mind that it is still daytime and therefore your mind shifts to a working mode instead of resting mode so that's why when you look at your gadget late into the night when you go to bed you find it hard to fall asleep a warm glass of milk will also a warm glass of milk with some chocolate inside will also help you fall asleep if you've been having insomnia if you've been having difficulty tonight before you go to bed i want you just to take a warm glass of milk not a full one could be just halfway add in some chocolate drinking chocolate don't put in sugar and then just enjoy that cup it will just you know, it will relax your body. I don't know in which way the doctors in here can help me, you know, explain that point. You can drop it down in the comments. Tell us how warm milk and chocolate helps calm the nervous system and take us to sleep very fast. So, but in the meantime, as the doctors advise us, please take that glass of milk. And finally, what could be keeping you up at night is your personal health. You could be sick. Physically, you could be disturbed mentally. You could be having other issues with your body and maybe you don't know. So maybe if you go to bed and you're sweating profusely or you go to bed and you're feeling extremely cold, you go to bed and your stomach keeps rumbling or you have consistent, persistent headaches, then it's time to see your doctor. Get your health in check. Get healthy. Take your vitamins. Take good food. Do some exercise. By the way, Exercises will help relax and take your body to a resting mode. So exercises done in the evening between 3 to 5 p.m. are also good for sleep. And that is the end of our talking video on how to fall asleep faster. So if you've been tossing and turning, I think from this moment, if you practice, only if you practice what you've learned, then you'll fall asleep faster. But if you continue with your old, old, hold, if you continue with your old habits, then you'll continue staying awake. At least thank me because I've given you some tips and I'll be seeing you in the next video.